various committees, uh, current and former committee chairs, uh, uh, former uh, intelligence uh, agency officials have urged um, this report, to be, these 28 pages to be released. But Senator Graham, former Senator Graham, uh, held up another document. Let's talk about that document when we come back. I don't want to get the latest on the giant gerbil, uh, Dennis Hastert. And your purchase of PrisonPlanet.tv members allows us to have full-time professional journalists. McBreen worked for Scripps Howard News Service and others. Uh, Wayne Madsen's worked for a bunch of you know, big mainline institutions, famous author, uh, written for you name it. We've got all these other great reporters here as well that have worked in TV and radio. And we're hiring more people. I plan to hire about three more camera people, maybe two or three more reporters, investigative journalists, two or three more writers, and then that's it. I don't tend to grow anymore because it's it's a lot to manage. But we just need to be able to have two crews be in different places at one time and still have a crew here to do reports in Austin and in studio. And I've basically got two crews right now. But when holidays come up, I've got one crew. So it's a balancing act. Your support financially is what is allowing it. And for me to be able to hammer out a, a deal to have Wayne Madsen uh, come to work full time. That's five days a week with us as an investigative journalist. And some of the stuff he's got planned is mooey dangerous. It's dangerous because it's important. I mean, we're not playing games here, is what I'm saying. I'm not going to go up against the globalists and do it with my mittens on. The gloves are off. We want a free country. We're not going to be enslaved. Fortune favors the bold. To quote John Paul Jones, founder of the U.S. Navy. I have only begun to fight. And that's what it comes down to. So thank you all for being PrisonPlanet.tv members and visiting InfoWarsStore.com. All right, Wayne, we got about three, four minutes left before this segment ends. Uh, you, you said that uh, Senator Graham, um, who was heavily involved in the 9-11 investigation, you name it, who's read the 28 pages that show Saudi Arabia was heavily involved, our government helped cover it up. That's bombshell right there. He had another document, Wayne Madsen. He, uh, yes, Senator Graham held up another document from the Treasury Department. It was a classified document, and it was about a Saudi organization uh, with strong ties to the Saudi government uh, that funded uh, al-Qaeda and uh, obviously funded some of the hijackers. It, this uh, document was, uh, he showed us the document, uh, it was probably about 90 to 100 pages in length. And he flipped through every page, and every single page was blacked out. Uh, there wasn't one item there that was uh, left open for uh, public view. So he's uh, urged uh, that document as well to be uh, released uh, by the uh, Treasury Department. Does this scare the real perpetrators of 9-11? I, I think uh, when you, from what I understand from people who read the the. Uh, the 28 pages, it, it's not so much what it says in the text. It may be what's in the footnotes and reference material is cited. And think of it as an onion. And when you start peeling back the onion, you get down to different layers and it opens up, uh, you know, different avenues for investigation. And that's obvious. Obviously, what the intelligence agencies and the Bush family, uh, and I say Bush family, we got to think of their extended family, the Dick Cheney's, the Donald Rumsfeld's, and and whatnot, uh, don't want this information to see the light of day, nor do the oil companies, and they're so tied in with them uh, that, uh, of course, have this relationship with the Saudi government. In closing, Wayne, what are they going to do when this ends up coming out, or it's already basically out? Defense Intelligence says our government's running Al-Qaeda. What are they going to do? Well, I, you know, I mean, it's going to, I think, show people that uh, we're, we're lied to on a daily basis. And uh, Wayne, hold on. Uh, back at 60, we'll do five more minutes and let you get back to reporting. He's up there on Capitol Hill right Thank now. You for listening. Uh, they also are having an event at the National Press Club. That's how I got that Visit confused. But this was at the Senate press today. area. We'll be back. I'm a former Senator Bob Graham, who wasn't on the 9-11 Commission. Why was I saying that? I get confused. Uh, so many names, they all mixed together. Uh, with this whole Saudi connection coming out, uh, other points that you are about to add to that, and, and where do you see all this going? Because uh, obviously folks in the military are upset if defense intelligence leaked last week, uh, the, and this was confirmed to be a real leak, that indeed the Army said we're ordered to fund al-Qaeda, fund the Salafis, which is al-Qaeda al as well, 
uh, basically ISIS. I, I mean, this really shows that that why they're scared of leaks. Yes, and and then we just had a revelation from the State Department. They admitted that the uh, former head of the Tajikistan Special Forces, trained by uh, Blackwater on a State Department contract, is now a top field commander for ISIS. So here we have yet another uh, uh, fact, uh, factoid that indicates that the ISIL, ISIS is a construct of uh, Western intelligence, the Saudis. How the do they think they're going to get away with this? Well, I think the fact is that we're seeing more and more of these revelations, and they're being confirmed by the agencies. Of course, the Defense Intelligence Agency tried to worm its way out of that report that you mentioned about uh, that it was the policy to create a Salafist principality in Syria and Iraq to uh, bring down um, Bashar Assad. And ultimately, uh, the uh, Iraqi government, which is allied, uh, has very close ties with Iran. Um, but I, I, I don't think we see the resistance now from the agencies. There's people that want to get the truth out. That's really, I mean, that's what, your job was internal security at the NSA. Uh, but, I mean, we see them going after uh, folks like William Benny and Drake and others. But, but you've talked about how they spend a lot of their time now just spying on people in government. But it's not going to work when more and more people just start leaking. They can't stop everybody. We could see leaks at any time that could bring down the globalists. I think that's why they want to uh, have an Internet kill switch and things like that. Well, I, I think we're, we're seeing uh, more people going through more documents like the DIA report, and, you know, whatever the document was that indicated, yes, uh, this guy from Tajikistan, the head of their special forces, was in fact trained by Blackwater. Uh, I think uh, uh, people are getting smart on how, how to go through these documents, whether they're a result of a Freedom of Information Act request or other from other sources. So I think the... Uh, sure. I think, uh, we're getting we're getting better at what we're doing, and it's beyond the spin of sure we created Saddam then he turned on us or we created Bin Laden then he turned on us. No, they are funding these groups whole cloth now and commanding them to engage in war crimes to destabilize the world, then attack the West so they can legitimize the police state. And you know this this is a dead duck politically. It's not going to fly in my view. Right, and, and we had families there today at this press conference. I should mention that. Uh, one one uh, young boy, is 14 years old, was four days old when his father was killed on 9-11. So, uh, the, and, and, the, and the daughter of one of the victims said, we are the children of 9-11. They made a personal appeal to President Obama to release the 28 pages so they can at least uh, have some closure. They say they don't trust their government anymore. And, and that's a theme we heard. We, the children of 9-11, sure. do not trust our own government. All right, Wayne Madsen, great job, WayneMadsenReport.com. Be talking to you more in the next few days about uh, official capacity here at InfoWars. But welcome to the team, buddy. You bet. Thank you. All right, there goes Wayne Madsen reporting from Capitol Hill. You can hear the reporters chattering in the background.